Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're going to compare all six of these waters, and by the end of this video I'm going to have one winner that's going to move on to round five. So here's the deal. We have this huge water comparison chart we've been working on for years, and it's coming to an end, and uh, we're actually in round three right now. This is a round three video, this is a round three video, this is a round three video. I'm going to do those first, and then in the middle of this video, we're going to have three waters, and I'm going to compare those three, and the winner of those three is going to move on to round five. So it's a little confusing, but I'm just merging a couple rounds into this one single video because these waters I've already talked about in other videos. I've already given you descriptions of them. I don't have much else to say about them. So this video is mainly just a taste test of these waters. And we're going to pick one that moves on to round five. That's the bottom line. Okay, so we got this light water. It's got a high pH, like a 9.5, I think. We have... Icy blue water. This is water from Canada. This is an award-winning water from, I think, the Fine Water Society. We have Anheuser Busch Emergency Drinking Water. This is from Disaster Relief. This is the company that makes beer, and they just also canned water for a disaster. And then this is several years old, and it was surprisingly good. I'm surprised that it made it this far because it was surprisingly good water. Then we have Hawaiian Springs Water. This is water that uh, bubbles up from deep underground and it's high pH and it's just very good. Then we have Menchie's Water. This is from a frozen yogurt place um, that actually closed down recently. So this is one of the few remaining bottles. I'm surprised this made it that far. Then we have Aqua Carpatica. This is a very beautiful bottle. Glass. It's like looks like a vodka bottle or something. This is from Salacious Drinks. And it's uh, just nice high-end bottle so let's just keep it quick let's just keep it moving some of my last reviews were like 17 and 13 minutes let's just keep going no one has time for that um, this is the light water very good and tasty okay so here is the icy blue Okay, just keep in mind, these two are against each other, these two are against each other, these two are against each other, so. Alright. Okay, I'm going to say the winner out of these two is the light water. Just going back and forth, preferring the taste of this one. With this one, I might have been uh, mesmerized by the cool bottle. It's got indents in it to look like a glacier, I think. Or maybe a water droplet or something. Or flowing water. So maybe that's why I picked this. But uh, out of those two, I like the light water. Okay, now we're on to these two. Anheuser Bush. These are uh, surprisingly expensive for a can of water. I don't remember how much it was, but it was a lot. Damn, that is like surprisingly good I remember when I first bought this I thought it was gonna be like really rusty and like really horrible tasting because that's my experience with other old canned waters but this is very like this is very good water actually um, Hawaiian Springs it's a good one too like it's like this, like the good quality of this, but like a little heavier, a little bit, um, you know, more pure, but. All right. Okay. This is shockingly close, but I'm gonna say the winner between these two is the Hawaiian Springs, Hawaiian Springs water. I'm blown away that this made it to round three at all. I had such low expectations for this. If you ever have a chance to try this, <laughs> I would really recommend it, actually. Um, very... And it's, like, several years old, so it shouldn't be that good. Like, But it, it's surprisingly good. Okay. Here's the Menchie's water. Like I said, my local Menchie's closed down. I guess they weren't profitable, so here we go.
like a zesty taste to it. Like I said, with the Anheuser Busch water, this is this one really surprised me because you wouldn't think a frozen yogurt custom bottle of water would be that good, but this is actually really good water. Like, just I think it made it this far mainly because it like surprised me with how good it was. All right, Aqua Carpatica. Tastes like a high TDS, kind of, like, a little bit dirty. You know, just looking at these bottles, <laughs> which one do you think I'm going to pick? Because I bet you're wrong. <laughs> I bet just looking at these, I bet you think I'm going to go with Aqua Carpatica. Because it, it's, I think it was pretty expensive, it looks beautiful, looks very high-end, but honestly, between these two, I'm going with the Menchie's water. Menchie's frozen yogurt water, H2O. Just going back and forth. This one tastes better to me right now. Alright, I'm going to take a little break. I need to take new thumbnails for the, the video on the chart, so I'll be back in a second. Four. Okay, I'm back, and now we're in round four. So the winner between these three is going to move on to round five. So here we go. Let's just finish it up. Let's be quick. Here we go. A little bit of a zesty um, taste, like a, like a zest bar of soap kind of taste to it. Very mild, but um, you know, all six of these waters are good. Let me just be clear. But I just have to pick a winner, so I'm going to be very picky and nitpicky and I have to look for stuff wrong with them to eliminate them so this is a very good bottle bottle I could easily like I'm not even thirsty but I could easily finish this whole bottle I'm pretty sure very good and pure and clean um, I think I made a mistake I think I might have said in a previous video that this is like a fish on the front I think somebody corrected me that it's like a coral relief or whatever it's called, coral uh, reef thing on there because it's Hawaiian. So kind of makes sense. All right. All right. Um, going to eliminate the Menchies first. Like I said, kind of like a zesty bar of soap. It's super mild flavor to it, but it's probably from the type of plastic they used or something. And I think it's been sitting in my drawer in the other room for months. That's one of the reasons I'm super excited to finish this video because I have to keep multiple bottles for each each option because they might make it to multiple rounds. So I have to keep multiple versions of each bottle. It's taking up a lot of space in my drawer in the other room, so I'm excited to finish this up just to clear up some space and get rid of some of these extra bottles. All right, these are, this is tough. Like these two are both very, very good. Man, this tastes like um, more of a distilled water kind of, and this tastes more like an artisan water. Right now, I'm digging this one more. I'm going to say this is the winner of round four. This is moving on to round five. Yeah, only a handful of waters have made it to round five. I think this is number six, so this is very impressive that it made it that far. This is a very good one. So, you're all winners, but this is the real winner. So, congratulations, Hawaiian Springs. Thanks for watching.